Right. Social Security is even a bigger deal, it seems like. Although Harry Reid was on Meet the Press, I think, a couple of months ago, said we didn't have a problem. But I guess now the president wants to put it on the table. Uh, the president has acknowledged it's not part of the deficit problem. And I think that's starting to sink in with Americans. Here it is. With respect to Social Security, Social Security is not the source of our deficit problems. Social Security, uh, if, is, if it is part of a package, uh, would be an issue of how do we make sure Social Security extends its life and is strengthened. So strengthened means cuts, okay? Let's, let's get the code language out here. Anytime you want to strengthen something, you're going to be asking consumers who have paid into a program that's been successful for all these decades that they just got to do more for the top 2%. So if it's not the source of the problem, why in the hell do we have to address it now? What do you think? Because Washington is now divided between the meanies and the weenies. That's the real two-party system today in Washington, the meanies and the weenies. The meanies want to take Social Security and Medicare away from grandma and grandpa, and the weenies are quite willing to go along with it and compromise. Well, people need Social Security and Medicare to live, and there's no compromise between life and death. There's no middle ground. The average person who retires in America today has less than $50,000 in savings. That's good for one, maybe two years. And those people live for close to 20. Yeah. There's no way that anybody in America can get by without Social Security and Medicare. And that's what the right wing in America wants to take away. I say no. No compromise. We need to strengthen Social Security and Medicare. I want to see Medicare cover dental work. I want to see Medicare cover hearing aids. I want to see Medicare cover actual medical needs. Is this president needs.